Ford F-150, a truck which would have seemed lavish during the recession, is now leading car sales in the United States. Similar models from General Motors are following suit, and the Chrysler brand Ram is also booming. Americans have rediscovered their passion for pickups, thanks to the economic upturn and low gas prices. We're a very fickle crowd. You know, we'll, we'll flock to the cheapest fuel uh, economy car we can find when gas prices are high, and a month later we're buying pickup trucks again, you know, as they go up and down. We, we, we don't tend to have a long-term view of things. This change of heart by consumers has already claimed a victim. Hybrid sales have dropped off by 5% compared to last year. Toyota, one of the pioneers in this niche, is getting ready to launch a new version of its main model, the Prius, next year. The Japanese car maker is also preparing for the long term with the launch of this hydrogen-powered car. Eventually we're not going to have the luxury of just not caring. So again, fossil fuels are a finite resource. And we, as we're looking towards the future, and I don't mean five years in the future, I mean 10, 20. 30 years for the future, we are going to have to have viable options. But these issues don't seem to concern a large number of Americans, who remain very attached to their pickups. We have a big middle American market that's heavily invested in pickup trucks for work purposes as well as for lifestyle purposes. And, uh, uh, you know, they've been marketed and sold to Americans for a long, long time as a, a a very uh, uh, robust kind of a car that shows what kind of a person you are, and uh, so a lot of people prefer pickups. But despite their image, pickups have also had to adapt. The new models have made leaps in terms of fuel efficiency thanks to new engines. The Ford F-150 even went on a diet. It shed over 300 kilograms thanks to its new aluminum body.